Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. A lot of requests as to what it all takes to get this freaking massive figgy collection all organized. And that's what we've been doing this morning. We started building on the room, and a lot of the parts ended up getting rearranged. So everything is going to be sectioned off in its own individual section. For example, we got a huge bin over here that's broken up with a bunch of heads, legs. It's mainly going to be a fodder is what you're going to see here. So drop a like if you would like to go through all these, man, because we got tons. And when I say tons, you guys, we have heads from Jax, Mattel, even dating back to the early Toy Biz days. And a lot of these will not be interchangeable. All of those you're actually going to find over here on this bin as well as a bunch of Build-A-Figure. And I'm sure a lot of people will attest to this, but ever since Mattel started stepping up their game and, you know, doing the interchangeable heads or hands or whatever, I was having a struggle, you guys, trying to find those specific pieces when I was either doing a setup, a picture. So what I did, I ended up getting one of these dividers. I actually ended up finding this at Big Lots, and I'm sure you can find this really at any craft store i've seen a lot of people use different variations you could do something like with fishing i know that like i'm sure a lot of people that's mainly what they use it for but for me this worked out well man i mean the hands you're going to be able to find them just that much easier so if you're looking for a yes 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 that's all going to be right here you're going to get full on open right on over here every gloved hand you'll find over here a lot of the ultimate edition or roman reigns i know he's had several of head scans you're going to find them right here in this section as well as in here so women are going to be sectioned off right here and the men's you'll find in these two and mainly due to the fact that most of the ultimate edition figures has been male i think 85 percent so it only makes sense and then we got gloved hands we got white hands we got orange hands we got all kinds of hands to fulfill that interchanging need coming back on over here you're gonna see probably the most common superstar i've, I've done a lot of stuff with the shield figgies so i think roman reigns is gonna be the most committed head scan that you're probably gonna find in here you'll get the screaming one You'll get one that, well, that's not Roman Reigns. Here's another big dog. See, I'm telling you, Roman is going to be loaded in here. And you might even find one or two that might be casted. I think this is the Goldberg one. No, this is Iron Mike Tyson. So you got Mike Tyson for added two days. And a lot of parts, too, that are just kind of lingering here to convert from either basic to elite or just introduce something brand new within the collection. Coming up here, you guys, you're going to find all of the upper parts. So whether it's arms, legs, I'm going to end up breaking this damn piece just showing you guys. But it'll all be worth it, though, because there is so much to cover in here. Even a lot of pieces that are pretty much Figgies complete in and of themselves. Like right here, I know we ended up doing something with that Bray Wyatt, that ringside exclusive. I ended up utilizing the lower legs for the Dean Ambrose custom that we had made prior. But it's still not a loss, you guys, because I still have plenty of those exact same legs. Well, at least similar ones. I know Fandango or even the Shawn Michaels Builder figure. But we'll cover those parts over there in just a sec. I want to keep coming over here because Andrade, the man wants a release not just from the damn figgy game but apparently also from wwe so one thing that i wanted to do because i also have legs i got i'm pretty sure i got uh white legs in here i wanted to get that wrestlemania basic and do that two-tone kind of like the score now the two-face look that he's got where he's got white on one side and black on the other so a lot of the parts even though it's looking like a huge pile of mess a lot of them do have intentions of being a figgy one day and if not one thing that i've done especially with the figgy crowd anytime there's extra parts that i know for a fact I won't end up using. I just go ahead and make a damn freaking fan out the gate, man. It only makes sense. You don't let no figgy parts go to waste. I love recycling. This is what it's all about, you guys. For down here, it's going to be all lower torso. So boots, knee pads. Actually, no, knee pads are going to be located right there. But as far as anything from the waist down, that's what you're going to find in here. And even, again, completion of parts. This one, I don't know why he's in here. You're actually going to find more full figures. I'm going to take you guys to a bin where I have a lot of the old, whether it's customs or elites those ones actually i believe that one should either go up there with the upper torso or in that bin once we go down into the basement so yes a tons of legs you guys so if you need fiend you got fiend you need fandango let me know well actually don't let me know because i still want to utilize those lower legs to complete that dean ambrose figure so now that we've seen the parts i want to come on over here and show you the weapons steel chairs tables ladders that's all going to be found in here as well as another section that we're going to cover here towards the end because there's still so much like apart from all these bins that you're seeing right here there is still so much that i'm gonna have to go ahead and cover down in the basement but up top this is gonna be mainly all of the big weapons so if you got a piece of wood covered in barbed wire or if you need to go to the hospital we got the stretcher we have the ambulance or if you're feeling brave let's say that you don't want to take the ambulance right you just want to ride there you can't make it there so what are you gonna do you can't grab a regular chair so you're gonna grab a wheelchair and push your happy meal ass all the way to the closest 
hospital or if you're going to have some gates right because that's what's going to happen you're going to have backstage entrance doors that you're going to have to come through that's all going to be found here or even some stuff from toy biz i know i ended up utilizing a lot of the stuff from my marvel legends figures and street fight matches i throw them in here man i'm telling you i love mixing it in with wwe with my marvel legends with some of my tnmt all that stuff you guys it's going to be found in here barricades dividing section pieces pedestals to put championship titles trophies i know i have was it i think the money in the bank briefcases might be down here within the other accessories so i'm going to go ahead and show you that so you guys can see exactly what's going down i believe this one oh this is all my rubber courts so really anything from the new day edge or even anything from like attitude era such as rakishi anything that's rubber that's what you're going to find in here. Some ultimate edition pieces such as Triple H. We even got this rare piece right here. And I know it is rare because most of the time that I find Bam Bam Bigelow on eBay, you rarely ever find it with this code. So I don't know. For me, you guys, mainly I remember him being, you know, coming out without this. So I never displayed it. I still plan on utilizing this in the future. So none of these pieces, yeah, they're not going to go to waste. And I've actually been looking for this. Let's go, man. So sanity, right? I've actually been putting it up since they've been broken up or whatnot. But in my NXT display... I was looking for this for the face mask, the little hat piece, the jacket. Oh, dude, it's going to be freaking awesome. Plus, we got the basic, so we don't even got to worry about that. Now, coming back down here, you're going to see more weapons. You're going to see championship titles. The mixture of the titles is going to be separated. My main, like my favorite belts are going to be found right here within this bag. All the ones that I can easily do trade skis on it's going to be in here there's a lot of custom belts within this bag and then carrying on over here to this side it's going to be continuation of the weapons except ones that are used in a smaller situation you know like just to give you an example like a fire extinguisher ones that will not fit on the upper section because even up here you're going to see even more weapons like tons you need weapons bro you need the skateboard you need the freaking guitar well actually this is not a guitar but pretty damn close shopping cart or if you're just feeling thirsty right like you want that vitamin d guess what we're gonna it's gonna get you my friends so tons of accessories right here to really have the hardcore match of a lifetime the couch dude we might spend a lot of time on it but damn skippity do that it's gonna snap in half across the opponent's side we're gonna go ahead and scoot this up forward so you guys can see what's going on in the smaller section this is gonna be devoted to accessories so hat masks glasses even microphones, I put them all in here. We get lots of mics, you guys. That is the most common accessory, I would probably say. Not just with WWE, but I noticed that with the AEW figures, they've really been turning it up right here with the microphone. So, you know, Attitude, Scratch, Logo, SmackDown, Raw, those are all going to be found right here, as well as some of those DX pieces. And if you guys know this piece right here, as well as the matchy-matchy on this side, you know exactly how freaking rare that piece is. All right, let's get in here and find out what's going on, because glass. Glasses. We got the rock. We have Rakishi. We have white glass. We got black glasses. We got orange glasses. We even got some new day. So all the glasses are going to be found right here. And I believe this is one. Actually, I don't even know what that's off. If you guys know, let me know in the comments because some of the stuff has no origin because usually when I buy figures loose, a lot of the sellers like to throw in little extras, whether it's an urn or maybe a little chihuahua dog. That's what's going to be inside this bin. And again, Toy Biz dating back, man. Early W. Well, no, hold on. Not WW but WCW I think that one ended up coming with the Dennis Rodman scooting down these are going to be all the knee pads all the elbow pads different variations different colors so for any time we get to work in on the customs we usually don't have to repaint the knee pads like most of them are already red or they're already green or I'll utilize like a light color to mix it in and turn it up with whether it's like the patriotic look or whatever kind of look you're trying to go with that's going to be found right here and then this shirt I don't know why this is in here because really anything when it comes to fabric that should all be found right up here man i'm talking about yokozuna i'm talking about the nature boy Woo! no hold on this is charlotte flair's robes so anything fabric related it's going to be located all up here you guys so that pretty much covers all the bins i'm going to go ahead and take you down to the basement area because i know we covered this we covered over here all the swappable over here this is all going to be steel steps or anything that's related right outside the ring or even like backstage pieces because this ended up coming with the Vince McMahon piece this was the SummerSlam build-a-figure well it's not a build-a-figure but it was a build-a-backstage set so if you want to throw down
sound like an early SummerSlam promo, this is a great way to do it. And steel steps, you're going to see connected pieces, which these are usually found within the metal rings. Anything you'll see separated, such as this, will either A, be a ringside exclusive, or B, something that was released right there with the old style of rings. All right, you guys, that covers it all. We covered all these. So we're going to go ahead and take it to the basement and check out the rest. All right, so here we are in the arena. And I know I said tables, ladders, and chairs, and you guys rarely saw any of those in those bins upstairs. So this is where the devoted section of all the chairs, my friends, I'm talking about Mattel, ringside exclusive, even ones right here that you might not be familiar with. This table, this rounded look that you're seeing, this actually ended up coming off, I think it was the APA. You'd get this, you'd have the door, or if you want like the regular style table, you got the two-piece section that came from Mattel, or one of my personal favorites, the ones that I would say definitely holds the most detail, is the ringside exclusive where you actually get the paint apps, the inwood graving, all the ladders, they're going to be located over here. You're going to get the ones that are part of the actual like play sets with the ringside sets. So these ones will be a lot thicker. And then you have the regular metal ones. And I know they're broken off, but I know that the rest of the pieces should be all up in there. But give me your thoughts, man. Let me know how you guys store your figgies, your accessories, your figure clothing, all that stuff. It needs to be separated in its own section. Otherwise, you guys, it's nearly next to impossible to find anything. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.